Alright, today I'm going to show you guys how to fix a broken tinsel lead on a subwoofer. Now as you can tell, this lead has come off of this terminal. See, it's supposed to be, this one's about to go too. See that? It's cracked, I don't know if you can see that. But... See my camera will focus. That one's about to go too. So pretty much what you need are two supplies really. I mean, I'm not gonna do it professionally and take off the old the old solder under there and I'm just gonna leave that on there and just go right to it. But I am going to use some new solder and a soldering iron. You wanna plug it in, wait for it to get hot, obviously. Um, if you don't know the basics of soldering, I mean, it's not rocket science, to tell you that. So, um, this is on a Memphis PR, power reference, 15-inch subwoofer. You see, the leads are fine. They're fine over here. No cracks. But I guess the person that had this before me probably put too much power on it, or had it in too big of a box and it just moved or they free aired it. Something happened where it, the excursion was higher than what it should have been. So let's get started. I'm testing my gun and it seems like it is hot enough. So like I said, I'm not a professional. I'm not going to do a professional job. I'm going to do what works. Okay, so I've got, I mean, you can get a uh, different kind of solder. This is just some I had laying around. Radio Shack special. 60-40, anything will work, whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a big blob on here. Just like this. Put enough on there. Okay, so now we've got a piece on there. So now what we want to do... Just make sure you have enough wire coming off of your lead. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. See the wire? You got to make sure you have wire visible. Because a lot of times when these rip, you've got the rubber insulation in the way. So make sure you have enough wire to get on the solder. Next step will be heating up the solder. This is kind of tricky holding the wire and okay. Scoot that back. Okay, heat up your solder. Try to put the wire on there. Completely cover the wire. And that should be good. Well, I've got a little wire sticking up. I'm going to make it a little bit better than that. I don't want it to look too bad. And voila. That's it. Now, if you have a broken lead right there, don't think your sofa's done or, you know, or don't, definitely don't try to wire your amp. Uh, positive and negative outputs on your amp straight to your tinsel lead because that's just not good. I mean, you want to. Oh, my son's in there getting into something. Um, like I said, it's not professional. It does work, and this one will probably need some work next. See, it's breaking right there. But that is how you solder a tinsel lead back onto a uh, terminal. Thanks for watching.